Would you introduce yourself? My name is Julie Stelko. I live in California. Okay. And uh, where do you used to live? In group homes. And did you like those group homes? Nope. How come? They touched my stuff, moved my stuff around, and I got mad at them for moving my stuff. I don't like having, I have my side on one side and my roommate had her stuff on the other side. And she got in my stuff when I was at home. I was in school. So what's better about having your own home? I could keep my door locked if I want to. And I have a lot of stuff in my room, like my iPad and my TV and my jewelry that I like to wear and my pictures of my family. And who makes the rules in your home? Me. Nobody else. Who hires and fires your support staff? Me. And have you fired staff before? Yes, I did. <laughs> and, and that's important, right? Yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how, what happens when you don't get along with the staff if you, if you want to fire them? What, do, what, what do you process do you go through? I give them two weeks notice and if they don't follow my rules, then I will talk to my coaches and, and have a, a meeting with them and, and if that doesn't work, then um, I could let them go. And it works okay? Yes. Okay. And it is important that you, you feel people are listening to you? Yes. Okay. And what does inclusion mean to you, Julie? It means to me that I'm secure where I'm at. <laughs> Excellent. And what about what about friends and meeting people and things like that? Do you have your own choice in that? Who makes choices about that? Me. I have a lot of friends I like to hang out with, like Melanie Miles and and my other friends. I have a, in the valley. I go visit my mom and stuff like that. Do you like people telling you what to do? Nope. Anything else you want to add? Mm, I have, I have a good cat that likes to sleep with me, and I told her that why you like sleeping with me because I bought her a bed, and she sleeps with me maybe a couple of times, and then she goes on her own bed. My family is important to me too. Yes, your family is very important to you. Yes, especially my brother, my mom, my niece. What do you like about coming to TASH conferences? Meeting new friends. How did you get out of um, the, the group home? How did you get out of the group home and get out on your own? I talked to my mom and she talked to Scott and Lori about independently and um, I talked to somebody else that lived on her own. Yeah, who did you visit? You want you and your mom and I think your grandma too. Yeah. Uh, and my goodness, that was back in 1994. You actually yeah. visited someone that lived in their own place so they could tell you a little bit about what it was like. Rhonda Michelson. Yes, you visited with Rhonda and Rhonda was able to share what was what she liked about living in her own place and that helped you get the confidence along with your family that it was yes. that you were ready to do that. Yeah. I've been in a lot of group homes and I didn't like the rules I had to go out with them and 
they make it harder for me to because I like to choose my own choices to do whatever I want and I like to stay home sometimes I stay home sometimes I go out anything else you'd like to add no no thank you all right well thanks Julie thank you